We've got a couple of prescribed roles that have already been picked for us. Our first role is a three, so move your token three. So we're landed on a prospecting symbol. What we would do is we'd draw the card that would correlate to that, and then we would read the card out loud and see if we can do the action there. The card reads, if you have at least 25 peps, your excitement and effectiveness are contagious. You share with everyone what you're doing and why. Subtract 18 prospects and enroll three times the number of a die roll in new associates. Well, first we need to come to our player card and see can we even do this prospecting card. It says if you have at least 25 peps. So notice in my example here as a school teacher with 8 peps, I don't have 25 peps. So it really doesn't matter how much excitement I have. I don't have the basic effectiveness in order to make this card work. So we just put that card on the bottom of the pile and we move on to the next player. So we're going to roll 3 and that's going to put us onto a practice square. The card reads, on the back of your player card, there's a space for you to write names of people you think would want more time or more money. Everyone writes six names, neighbors, coworkers, friends, and family, and everyone receives six peps. Turn your player card over to the back, and you'd write down six names of neighbors, coworkers, friends, and family that you personally know that would like more time or more money. And then as you write those six names, you're going to get six peps. And I've shown you here on the screen, it's easiest just to mark through your PEP score and add six to keep a running total of what your total PEPs are. Now notice that we didn't prejudge these people. We just simply wrote down who we know that wants more time or more money. It's as simple as that. Next, our role is a two, and that's going to put us on personal improvement. And we're going to draw a card here from that deck. And the personal improvement card reads, you do several three-way conference calls with your upline and listen to how he or she speaks with prospects. You receive five peps. You've done an activity, the card has suggested what you've done, and now you receive five peps. So go ahead and add five peps to your player card and bring that up to a running total. Now next we've rolled a one and we've landed on this yellow diamond with these two arrows and this is the choice square and this is where you get to make some decisions in your business. So you want to choose one of these three decks of cards, either prospecting, personal improvement, or team development. As you can see, they all have a red square around them. These are the only three decks you can choose when you land on a choice square. We've actually selected personal improvement. You're very nervous to approach several prospects, but you do so anyway. This courage boosts your self-esteem. Subtract 10 prospects, add 3 new customers, and receive 4 peps. We come back to our player card and we update it. We subtract 10 prospects. Make sure you're subtracting from prospects. These are 10 people you've presented to. you got 3 of them to become customers, so you got 3 out of 10. And we did receive 4 peps, 4 personal effectiveness points, because we did something that was uncomfortable and we were able to boost our self-esteem. So make sure you've got your peps added on there as well. Next we're going to roll a 2. That's going to bring us to the team development deck of cards. If you have at least 34 peps and 10 associates or more, you develop 4 new leaders on your team. Your team grows by 1 associate for every 5 you have now. You need to have 34 peps and 10 associates or more. So it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to do this card if you only had the effectiveness. You'd actually have to have those 10 associates on your team. So in this situation, as my card shows 23 peps and 0 associates, we can't move ahead on this card. Just put it on the bottom of the pile and move ahead. Our next roll is a 2. We're going to land on the chance square here, which is the coin icon. You listen carefully to your upline's teaching on how to contact your prospects. This increases your effectiveness. You get three peps, two customers, and one new associate. We add the three peps, two new customers, and one new associate. Our next role is a two, and it puts us onto the practice deck again. Product promotion is crucial to your business. Choose an object in this room, then describe how that thing has made your life better, easier, or happier. If the player tells you that he or she is convinced, you receive six peps and two new associates. Have somebody that's playing the game actually take a turn and be able to say out loud what they see around them and to talk about that thing, tell what it is, and tell how that has made their life better, easier, or happier. Add your six peps and your two new associates and then move on to the next thing. Now notice we just passed by payday. We were on that practice square right in front of that pile of money, which is a payday. And we've gone right past that with a four. We've landed on personal improvement. 
And now the card reads, you purchase and complete a $200 training course that teaches you the power of duplication. Subtract five prospects, receive five peps, and enroll one new associate and two new customers. We're doing the card first before we go to payday because we're going to see as we uh, increase our uh, player card, it's going to change our payday. So first thing we need to do is if we want the reward from this card is we're going to need to pay $200 to the bank. So look in your cash in front of you and pay $200. And as you've invested in that, that t training course that teaches duplication, now we're going to go and update our player card with subtracting five prospects, receiving five peps, enrolling one new associate and two new customers. So this affected quite a bit of our card and it was a very powerful investment for us. Now we're going to come back and do the payday that we just passed by. You don't have to land on payday, you just have to make sure you take it in that same turn. So we usually take the card first if we go past it, do that card and see if it helps us and then we're going to now calculate payday. So let me teach you how to do that. As we look on our card here, we're going to take our customer income from the amount of customers, the number of customers, which we have is 7, times the customer value, which we started with, was a base value of 75. It has not changed yet. Sometimes you'll get a card that will actually in in increase that. So 7 times 75 is 525. You want to write that number in your customer income square there where you see the number 1. Just write right over top of it. The associate income is figured by the number of associates times the base value of an associate, which again we wrote down was 100, so 4 times 100 is $400 associate income. Our residual income is the total of both our customer income and our associate income. So this is not only the products and services we sell, but it's also the team members that are working with us. That's how we get our residual income total. So 525 plus 400 is 925. And that residual income, in order to figure our payday, gets added to our job income because I still have a job as a school teacher. So we add that residual income to our job income and we get a total net income or payday right now, our second payday, of 2025. Now notice that we don't have any $5 bills in the game, so you're going to need to round that number up to the nearest 10. So as my payday right now, I'm going to be taking $2,030 from the bank for my second payday. So make sure you take your payday right now after you've calculated your residual income plus your job income, written that total into the net income square, then you take your cash from the bank for your second payday. Now there's a couple of things that we do at payday. Um, so we actually need to connect and look at our residual income and see we've got $925 coming in are we able to meet any of our financial goals? And of course right here on the screen you can see that I can reach two of my financial goals. One is the new tires and the other is the car with that $925 there. As you look at being able to you know, do this throughout the game, you may or may not as you're beginning, your goals may be higher, um, they may cost more or you may not want to finance them into a monthly payment, that's all fine. Uh, it may just take you a little bit longer to receive those goals and want to make sure that when you do find that your residual income is able to meet and, and uh, achieve your goals, I want you to make sure that during the gameplay you're making a lot of noise, clapping, high five, patting people on the back, because that acknowledgement and that recognition of reaching their goals is really very motivating for them. The emotion of seeing themselves receive those goals is a real key thing that you want to make a big deal about. And then the next thing you do at payday is you check and see if you got a promotion. So you compare the amount that you have in the residual income box, there that 925, with the boxes that are on the left hand side where you see a compensation plan of everything through junior associate all the way through premier executive. And sure enough, the 925 is more than the 500 that it requires for us to be a junior associate. So circle junior associate and then you change the associate value from $100 to 125 because that's the associate value that correlates to the junior associate level of promotion. Make sure that people are, are hearing and cheering each other on at this point. This is a key piece when you're developing your team because many times people are more motivated by acknowledgement and praise and getting a pat on the back than they are actually the money that comes along with it. Each person would roll one die on the inside track, each person taking their own turn, and they would actually see you know, which cards they chose, read those out loud so that everyone can get the benefit of the training so that each of you are learning from each other. They're learning the success pattern of being able to go through the system.